Good evening, and welcome to our next episode of Cooking with Michael. And Candace. And Candace. We're back. That's right. Last week, we had COVID, so we took the, the week off. Uh, make sure we're taking care of But uh, again, as per the code regulations, we want to make sure we're fully masked up for five days afterwards uh, having COVID. So I want to make sure I was protecting everybody, so I've got the mask on my face. You can't catch COVID through YouTube. Oh, you can't? No, you can take those off. Oh, well then. Hey, there we go. Oh, hi. How you doing? Good. All right. Yes. I still don't know what day of the week it is, but I'm, I'm doing okay. Yeah, you know what? It is what it is. But uh, no, we did. We had COVID last week. Um, but we're okay. Uh, we came through it okay. We just took a week off. And thank you all for sticking with us. And for all of you who uh, texted and emailed and asked us how we were doing, we really appreciate that. We're doing great. We're back. So this week, great episode, great meal. I'm excited about doing it. So we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, first things first, as always, want to thank Andrew. If you're in the Germantown, Maryland area, stop by the Fox Chapel Shopping Center, go to Chapel Beer and Wine, see Andrew. Today is a beer night. Why? Because um, beer. I didn't get wine yet. So <laughs> I've been back. Actually, I want to thank uh, one of our viewers, too, who dropped off the beer for us during the worst of COVID. Yes. Um, that was actually really funny and awesome. She sent a picture to me and me a text and said, your beer and wine is outside. We thought she was kidding when she said she was going to bring us beer and wine. Yeah, she wasn't. Thank God. I mean, back, back after three days of being with my family, I mean, you know. Thank you, you Katrina. Thank you, Katrina. So, anyway, tonight we're going to make chicken ranch twice baked potato. That's right. Great dish, quick, easy, and we're going to show you how to make it even quicker than typical twice baked potatoes. Um, you may have watched us make twice baked potatoes before. Mm -hmm. uh, we have done a recipe. Uh, just actually, the plain ones. Just the plain potatoes. Um, and uh, we can kind of do that, but we're going to add some real fun stuff to it. So here we go. Um, the ingredients you need, you need... You know, I thought with COVID that meant I would never have to eat cheese again. <laughs> nope. First episode back, we go right to the cheddar cheese. You want to get a packet of, I won't say the name because I actually tore it off because they're not sponsoring us, Hidden Valley. Um, <laughs> the, the ranch packet, seasoning packet. You can find it in the salad dressing aisle. It's usually on the top shelf, but it's the make your own salad dressing, and Correct. it's just, it's powder. That's all you want is the powder. You don't want to use the creamy stuff because it's just too much ranch. Um, you want to use chicken breast, whether it's frozen, whether it's fresh, um, enough to make a cube. You want to basically, uh, and I've already cooked it, but um, enough to make basically a cup of chicken, okay? You want to make, uh, or you want to use bacon bits. Now, we made our own bacon bits today. Why? Because we couldn't find bacon bits. There's a national shortage of bacon bits, and our grocery store told us we don't know when we're going to get them back in. Bacon so, bits. So we had some bacon at home, and we cooked it and crumbled it, and there you go, bacon bits. You think it would be like a semiconductor. Like, I can't get a car, and I can't get bacon bits. Anyway. There's a whole lot of things you can't get. Exactly. Refrigerators. So anyway, and oh my fuck, that's hot. Um, <laughs> potatoes, we use russet potatoes, as I actually cooked them ahead of time too. So, um, In the microwave. microwave. Yes. Because so, it's faster. Exactly, you can cook them in the oven, take about 50 minutes on like 400 degrees to cook a baked potato in there, but these damn things, those are very hot. These things are enormous, so they would take a lot longer, and it, honestly, you put them in the microwave real quick, real easy, and they're just as good. So, mm -hmm. all right, the chicken. You know, I haven't done this in two weeks. Let me do this. Should I do this? Yeah. You can see there's... Tall people, tall people. Basically, what you want to do is you want to cut up into small little, uh, little pieces, little chunks there, okay? Um, and you want to take that and you want to toss it in a bowl with your ranch powder dressing, okay? Just put it in there and just toss it around until it's fully coated. Okay. Oh, by the way, we got our nice little new uh, things. I want to thank Katrina and Gina um, for uh, Pampered Chef helping and pamper, helping us get our new Pampered Chef little uh, dishes. I love these things. Really cool. We got a couple of things too. We'll show them down in other episodes. Um, of course, the bacon. Okay. We're going to use some of it uh, in the mixture and we're going to use some of it on top. Okay. And then, of course, the bacon. That's hot. Baked potato. So while you're. We'll learn by the end of the episode. Probably not. So, and of Possibly. course, my beer from Andrew, Andrew Chop of Beer and Wine. Thank you again. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees. I've already done that as well. Cook your potatoes. I've already done that. Okay. Try not to burn yourself. Try not to burn yourself. He's already done that. I've already too. done that too. So, um, chicken. 
it's already cooked everything, so really we're just gonna mix it together. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm basically going to take my Deadly Husbands, season three, episode two. I've been told I've been annoying this week. So, um, yeah. Nah, I wouldn't do anything. Who's gonna watch the kids? All right, I take this and I'm basically going to cut this straight in, in, in half, okay? Half like that, okay? And you want to do the same thing with the other one, all right? So, but we're... Steamy. Steamy. Now what we're going to do is we're going to scoop out the potato, okay? You want to leave about... I don't know. Half inch. Half inch, something like that. You want to uh, have a half inch wall yeah. of potato shell. You basically want to keep it so the shell doesn't fall apart when you're stuffing it back in. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take the... We're going to do exactly what I just didn't do. We're not going to break the fucking potato, but I just did. All right, if you find out it's not uh, soft enough on the inside, put it back in. So let me cut this one. That one's much better. That's a little bit smaller. Yeah. And you have to be careful. You don't want to ruin the bowl. Now, at the end of the day, it's really not a huge deal if you do. It's, it's all going to end up chewed up and swallowed and eaten. Right. It's about the presentation, really. So we're just going to take this and we're going to scoop out the innards out of the potato. The idea is that you're going to put all this stuff back in and you want to have it something that can hold it. And uh, you want to look like you, you know, a gourmet chef did this or you bought these at some restaurant or whatever else. I don't know what anybody tells you, but when you make good food and you make your date night you're really happy that you made a good meal, you get some. Unless you're married, then it doesn't happen. I'm oh, sorry. So we're going to take that, we're going to put those aside, put that aside for just a second, and I'm going to wait for the other one to come out of the uh, microwave. So if you take it back out, it falls apart, because you already screwed it up. Anyway, let it sit, cool off, okay? So while it's sitting there cooling off... Um, what? Let it sit and cool off? Maybe the COVID's still there. Should I take my temperature? Maybe I should put the mask back on. Maybe. 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 I think it damaged your brain. Maybe, could be. I'm gonna drink my beer while I'm letting that cool off a little bit, and, um, and then we'll be right back. We'll show you how to mash it up and put it all back in the oven. All right, so we took the other one out, we let it cool off, we did dig it out a little bit. Um, the key is to have them as cooked as possible. Correct. Cook them as much as you can before they turn to styrofoam. Yes, because that's when the softness comes out and you can dig them out, that's mm -hmm. correct. So anyway, so what I'm gonna do, the potatoes that we scooped out, I'm gonna use our... Smasher. Smasher. So our, our kids have really gotten into Phineas and Ferb, so if any of you with kids that Phineas and Ferb, this is now our Smash and Thor. <laughs> right. So my daughter loved it too. She was one of her favorites growing up. We're just going to mash it all up, okay? And then once we kind of mash it, um, we're going to take the chicken. Just gonna dump all the chicken in there. Okay. Chicken. Chicken. We're gonna take, oh God help me. We're gonna take just a little bit of cheese, like one or two or three. No. You're going to dump the whole bag in. No, we're so not. It's like three quarters of a cup. Then we're going to take our bacon. Bacon, you can never have too much bacon. You can never have too much cheese either. Yes, you can definitely have too much cheese. So anyway, so it'll look like that. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to just stir this all up. Get it all mixinated. Mixinator. I used to call my daughter Doofenshmirtz. She used to get so mad at me. I'm not Doofenshmirtz. All right, so basically it looks like this. Lactose intolerant people, lactose intolerant. <laughs> tall people, tall people. Bitch. So, up. Sorry, so it looks like that. You can see a nice mixture. Tall. Okay, all right. Now what we're gonna do, cookie sheet, baking pan, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna take my fucked up potato, and I'm gonna take the one that's actually halfway you know, done right. And I'm going to then just scoop this back into the potato. Okay? Scoop a nator. Scoop a nator. Again, you just want to fill the potatoes back up with the mixture. Okay? Use it all. Then you take it and you put it in the oven. 400 degrees for 20 minutes. Do not, do not, do not walk away from them. 
Because what you want to look for uh, is a light brown crust on top. Not a lot, just a little one, okay? Um, but anyway, so we'll let that go for 20 minutes. Oh, let me set the timer. Set your timer. Inator. Yes, set your timer and Inator. So when that goes off in 20 minutes, we'll come back, we'll take them out, sprinkle a little, just a little more cheese on, like a, like a piece of cheese. You see a little mouse emoji going. Um, we'll put a little more bacon on it and stick it back in there just to get the cheese to melt and then we'll take it out, we'll try it, we'll taste it, show you what a great, great date night, quick date night dinner this is. Um, eat, drink some beer and, and have some fun. So we'll be back in just a moment. Sit tight. All right, we're back. Uh, about 10 seconds or so before it comes out of the uh, oven, and then we're going to do the next step. So put it down. Hey, look, it's done. I'm going to pull it out. And this is what... Fuck, that's hot. Fuck, that's hot. Fuck, that's hot. Tall people, tall people, burning themselves. Tall look, people. Look, look, look. Okay, there we go. All right, so now what we want to do... <laughs> good God, is that hot. All right, so you can see there pretty much have a light brown crust over it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take um, one strand of cheese, that's okay, I can put more on mine than I Okay, so you take your one strand of cheese and you put it on top. No, I'm just kidding. So, a little more cheese. Know your audience. Okay. Then, I'm going to take the rest of the bacon. And the bacon, what we're going to do is we're just going to sprinkle the bacon on top. Because again, you can never, never have too much bacon. You can definitely have too much cheese. Now shake your head, woman. Woman! All right. Wait. Did it rattle? Sorry. It did not rattle. Oh, sorry. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put this back into the oven. Um, just enough for the cheese on top to melt. That's all you're gonna do with it. So, probably about five minutes or so. Uh, keep an eye on it. Basically, what the top looks like how you want it to look. So we'll let's sit in there for just about five minutes or so. We'll come right back, show you what it looks like, take it out, taste it, love it, and go from there. God damn, those things are hot. So anyway, um, we'll go from there. We'll be right back. Real quick, while you're uh, waiting for that to melt, um, toppings. I don't really put a whole lot of toppings on. I just use the cheese and the, the bacon that's on there. Candace does love her sour cream. Um, it's a good topping. People will put uh, fresh chives on top, which is always good too. Um, Maybe a little onion powder or something like that, a little garlic in there if you want. I think fresh garlic, make sure it's, you know, cooked, um, sauteed in a little bit of oil. But again, like I said, uh, scallions, whatever. So uh, put a lot of different things on top of it. No more cheese. The cheese is, is you know, you, just too much cheese. Oh, sorry. So anyway, so yeah, have your toppings ready because when it comes out, you're going to put your toppings on it. Um, but we'll have Candace taste it when it's done. We'll be right back. All right, so we're going to bring it out. Let's see what it looks like. Show you what it looks like when it's all done. Tall people, tall people. Tall all right, people. all right. So we'll go ahead and I'm gonna scoop one off here. All right. All right. While she's playing with that, I'm gonna take a quick bite because I don't like sour cream. He's gonna burn himself. Yes. Get ready for his catchphrase now. Here we go. Fuck it's hot. Fuck it's hot. Fuck that's hot. Actually, when we have our new one, cluck that's hot. That's hot. There you go. Okay. All right, let's see what you think. Oh, this is so good, too. I mean, sour cream really kills it, but it don't, sorry. Mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it just kind of melts in your mouth, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Fantastic. All right, so that's it. Real quick, real easy. It is chicken ranch twice baked potatoes. Okay, real simple, real easy to make. You can see these are big, so this is actually a meal in and of itself. Yeah. Okay, you can use it as an appetizer if you want to, but really it's a meal in and of itself. Yummy, quick, easy, fantastic date night. So, as always, please share with everyone you know. As we always say, I don't care if you like the people. Just share it with them anyway. <laughs> now, tap, walk down the street, tap them on the shoulder and say, Hey, i got a great show for you to watch. And give them our website, cookingwithmichael.us. We have our new merchandise up there now. Please check it out and uh, buy some stuff. Thanks to uh, our viewers who helped create that. And of course, uh, watch the shows, share with everyone, love it. And as always, we will see you next Saturday, 8 p.m. on Cooking with Michael. And Candace. And Candace. Good night, everyone. Good night.
o da fa. Little bit chicken crap. Cold beer on Friday night. Pair of jeans that fit just right. I hope I hit the cold. Okay, okay.